Okay, today we are going to have an interview with the author of Leech Mob, a novel about a Connecticut gang. How's it going? His name is John Harwood. Uh, he is currently living uh, near the location of uh, Leech I'm still Mob. Still in Connecticut. Still in Connecticut. And uh, we want to ask him a few questions about his novel. Awesome. Okay, so John, tell me, what do you think is the main focus of your novel? I think the main focus is uh, how kids interact with each other. And lots of times when someone goes to a new school, uh, kids will see what they're made out of and attempt to bully that person. And so we start off with uh, the main character going to a new school and he has a rough time with the uh, uh, the popular kids, which are the preps and the jocks, and uh, he ends up getting in a couple fights and gets put in something called a program, and the program is designed for kids with mild learning disabilities and behavior problems, so he meets a group of kids that are into skateboarding, punk rock, hardcore, uh, weed, kind of partying, and they're more of like the outcasts of the school according to the popular kids are the outcasts, but there's a whole group of them. There's like 20 or 30 of them. And so they form their own society within the school hierarchy. And together they kind of form a bond and they kind of stand up to the different groups. So, How would you say that this novel, Leech Mob, differs from that older novel, The Outsiders? Well, The Outsiders is a good book by S.E. Hinton, right? And uh, I read that again recently and uh, it was, read, it was written pretty well, but I could tell that a, a female wrote that about boys. And so you kind of see the kind of the female perspective come out more. And uh, me, I'm writing about uh, a gang of kids, both male and female. And so uh, it's a little rougher. And uh, How much of this book is fiction and how much is nonfiction? Well, I, of course, I had to embellish a lot of it to make it interesting and uh, consolidate the time. Like, it took place, uh, these events from memories from when I was 15 to 25 years old, but 10 years is way too long to write a book in, so it takes place over a year. So it does move very quickly then. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's 13 chapters, and they're almost like 13 short stories that involve uh, the same character. So it's kind of like a sitcom in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, each kind of chapter stands on its own. It's very quick to read. It's like reading different short stories. So Yes, well, I did read someone's uh, critique about the novel, and they said that the story seemed to move so quickly for them, this adult. Uh, do you see that as a criticism or as a compliment? Oh, I see that as a compliment. Uh, in today's fast-paced wor uh, world, people like uh, to watch movies and TVs and videos and everything, and they like a book to, uh, to move fast as well. I don't like reading the novels where you got to read 200 pages before something uh, good happens. With Leech Mob, there's a fight on the first day of school. So within the first two pages, it takes right off like a comic book. Okay, so through the main character, Kelly Hayes, uh, you seem to uh, touch on many different social issues uh, that high school students deal with. What, besides bullying, what would be some of the other issues? Uh, some of the other issues would be uh, drug abuse, alcohol and harder drug abuse. Uh, now that marijuana is being decriminalized, I think people are going to start to look at weed with a different uh, perspective. It's no longer kind of a gateway drug or should be grouped in with the harder drugs. It's kind of a safer alternative to alcohol. And you'll notice that after the kids use marijuana, uh, they tend to kind of remain consistent in their behavior. They don't cause trouble. They kind of uh, stay mellow and cool. But when they use alcohol and harder drugs, you'll see how that affects their personality. So it's interesting how we talk about that. And uh, what are some of the, uh, the other... There's lots of... Uh, it's a big comedy, a big part of Leech Mob is uh, comedy. So it is. I certainly did enjoy reading it. I uh, got a lot of insight into the uh, high school world. I would say that uh, some things have changed. When you wrote it, uh, kids were not always carrying their cell phones, right? right? They didn't really have cell phones back then. So some of the 
uh, stories might have to do with a payphone or congregating around right. certain spots. Yep. But basic, early nineties. Yeah. Early nineties. But basically, uh, it gives us a little insight into the past. But these are timeless issues that uh, young people still face today. Yes, yeah, so that brings up another point. Like in the early 90s, we had what's called hardcore music, which was kind of a, a brand of punk rock. And uh, it was the time when grunge music was coming out of the underground scene and becoming more mainstream with like bands like Nirvana and so forth. So uh, we had the underground hardcore scene with uh, clubs and mosh pits and everything. And uh, Around the mid 90s, that all changed and raves got popular, which was techno music, trance music, jungle music, it's more electronic music. So it takes part in that frame of time. So kids would like to see how the music changed and read about the underground music scene at that time. Okay, and then on kind of a different note, uh, I know that you have had uh, difficulties uh, marketing this book because of your financial limitations. Yes, I know that's that true. It, it cost a lot of uh, money to uh, to publicize this book. So you're having to rely upon your Facebook uh, page, leechmobnovel.com. Yes. Uh, so we have Facebook. You also, I understand, have a website. Yes, www.leechmobnovel.com. And that'll bring you to where I have a lot of videos. I have the audio book. I have all the uh, characters. There's like 30 sketches of the cart. 30 sketches of the uh, characters in Leech Mob. So this book is available obviously in hard copy. I sure see you is. got a copy. Also Kindle. And what's the other electronic format they could get? Uh, to? Nook book. Uh, Nook. And you that's get through Amazon, Nook. right? Uh, Nook is through Barnes and Noble. Nook and is through Barnes and Noble. And Kindle. Am you can go to Kindle and that's through Amazon.com. Great. So it is um, $14.95 hard copy. And it is nine ninety five, I believe, on uh, Kindle, as well as uh, Nook. Uh, I know that you want people to contact you on Facebook, help you spread the word uh, with their friends. Would you um, tell us something about how you need your readers' support? Oh, I sure do. Um, please check out the audiobook. If you like what you hear, uh, get it on Kindle or Nook or buy a hard copy and uh, just tell your friends and please pass the, uh, the word along if you like the book. I assure you, it took 10 years to write. There's not a dull moment in it and you'll have a lot of fun reading it. Well, thank you so much, thank John you. Harwood. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks.